break in a kidnapping and then a hero. Uh, that's how a New Year's Day crime unfolded in Cherokee County. But as Fox 5 IT reporter Randy Travis shows us now, one of those three turned out to be a lie. And I'm sitting here like trying to rub my eyes like, OK, this is not happening. Morgan Metzer imagined 2021 would be the fresh start she needed. Instead, barely an hour into the new year, a nightmare took over her life. Every woman's like worst fear is to wake up to that. A masked man standing in her bedroom doorway, his voice mechanically distorted like Batman, she said. One of the scariest things I have, that voice still to this day just haunts me when I sleep. There was no one else in the house to hear her screams. The intruder pinned Morgan down and began viciously beating her with a gun. And I could feel his finger on the trigger of the gun. And I was like, this is it. I'm, I'm gone. But then he stopped. And he decided to strangle me two times. One to the point where I was, I barely had any breath left. Um, I thought it was going to be my last breath. But he stopped again. I didn't feel Instead, zip tying Morgan's hands, sexually assaulting her, then putting a pillowcase over her head before dumping her on this sofa on the back deck. On the way out, he just kept saying, you know, you've messed up. You're really going to, you're, you're going to be fine, but we can't say that about your ex-husband. You're really going to miss him. Morgan and her husband Rodney had recently divorced, but maintained a friendly relationship because of their nine-year-old twins. Rodney had actually slept on Morgan's couch earlier that week. The intruder told Morgan not to move until she heard two car honks. I was just nervous that other people were sitting out there waiting for me, so I didn't move at all. She never heard the signal, but minutes later, ex-husband Rodney showed up, first going to the front door, then the back deck. Instantly hear Rod's voice going, oh, baby, what happened? What happened? I'm so sorry. Did he want you to think that he was the hero? Mm-hmm. He was extremely shocked by the, what I looked like, but not a shock of, oh my gosh, who did this to you? But, oh my gosh, look what I just did to her. That intruder made off with only one thing that belonged to Morgan, her cell phone. Authorities say that was to delete all the security video showing him getting into the house. But the system continued to operate after Morgan was freed, giving us a rare inside look at how Cherokee County Sheriff's investigators quickly solved this crime. After he called 911, Rodney sat close to Morgan and put his arm around her. You me. Did you see his face? No, he had something over it. As more investigators arrived in those first hours of 2021, Rodney explained how he raced to check on Morgan after someone mysteriously tapped on his apartment window and yelled her name. Even though when I'm married, I'm supposed to try to protect her. But investigators had already found images on Rodney's cell phone showing he had been secretly copying his ex-wife's text messages. Still, he stuck to his story. I know what I know. I'm telling my truth. I'm telling my truth. There's no way in hell somebody knocked on your window and said her name and you immediately come over here because you're going to check on her. And she happens to be bound in a pillowcase over her head by a man who is disguising his voice. Stand up. Stand up. You're not kidding me? No, nope. I'm not kidding you. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Rodney Metzer was arrested early New Year's Day for lying to investigators. Later, sheriff's deputies obtained store security video showing him buying those same zip ties authorities say were used to bind his ex-wife's hands behind her back. In his online search history, how long to choke someone unconscious and how to change the sound of your voice. Rodney pled guilty to all charges, including kidnapping and aggravated assault. Sentenced to 70 years. 25 behind bars. Honestly, in a lot of domestic violence cases, we don't see this kind of sentencing. Um, this was something that was so heinous and so egregious that had he not agreed to that, he could have been facing more than that. I really think he thought he was going to still be able to get away with it. That's because even after the arrest, Morgan admits the man she'd known since she was 14 still had her questioning whether he was really responsible. It's called gaslighting. We explore how that can happen in our next story. In Canton, Randy Travis, Fox 5 News.